purpose for, for this <coughs> uh, there's, So there's this, one of the amendments includes um, having an exception to those exercising their First Amendment rights. Did you enumerate those? So, uh, who are you and what position do you have on the uh, CAB? Oh, my name is Gary Nucker, and I'm a member of the Southern Spring Citizens Advisory Board. Uh -huh. I've been on for about five and a half years. And uh, what do you think about the proposed youth curfew law? Um, I, I don't, I don't, point. I, I, I don't support it. I think there are much better uh, crime reduction tools that, that can be used. I, I have, I have civil liberties, civil liberty concerns about the curfew. Um, I have effectiveness concerns about the curfew. And meanwhile, I, we know that there are other tools that the police can use that, that could potentially be much more effective in curbing Silver Spring crime and preventing Silver Spring crime, mm -hmm. uh, which are which are more proven and uh, and don't have the same uh, civil liberties concerns. Uh, such as, uh, could you could you elaborate on that? What what kinds of? Oh, sure. uh, I mean, there's, there, there's I mean, they can. There, there's potential for more community policing, for gang intervention, uh, 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 bike, uh, more more police on bike patrols, uh, and uh, and and so it, sometimes it does take additional resources. But the alternative is, this, is a potential poor man's solution of uh, trying to to curb crime by by imposing liberty restrictions on people's liberties, and, and that, that seems like a poor way to, to go about it. I mean, Benjamin Franklin had a, a very important, a very, I thought, guiding quote, which was those who uh, would sacrifice liberty in the name of security deserve neither. Um, it's, unfortunately, we, we are sacrificing many liberties, uh, some more ridiculous than others, which is why I have to take off my toddler's shoes when you go through an airport security <laughs> line. Um, and society has, has, has decided that you know, the, the safety of, the, of, of thousands of people is, is important and, and is worth that trade-off. But I mean, for something like this, when crime is, when we have effective crime, crime enforcement tools and there's the potential for more targeted, uh, more thoughtful and more effective measures than this, it, it seems like a no-brainer that you shouldn't punish people just for being, just for being. Right. 